one day it was to be that your brother would be shown something that would change the profile of things. I left my country where I was born then. In 1953 to New Orleans, I became a merchant seaman. I was 20 years of age. As a merchant seaman, I became an engineer five years later. I'm a steam engineer. Don't ask me how I did that because that's going to baffle you because I've never been to school and I don't read books. I don't read books now, nobody's book. I'm not even going to read my own. Because all the book readers come to me asking me, how did you cure AIDS? But that's, that's like asking the gorilla, hey man, how come you keep yourself healthy without a hospital? How come you don't have any medicines? We begin. I became a merchant seaman right quick to take you through my life. Left Honduras without going to school, became a merchant seaman, became an engineer, worked for the Count of Los Angeles as an engineer. While as an engineer, the Count of Los Angeles, something is to happen. Something is to change my life completely. First, it was a Mexican. The Mexican said to me, you're dying. I said, I know. How do you know? Because I fell out going to the bathroom on Sunday afternoon and I didn't reach the bathroom, I got up off the floor. Something must have happened between there and the bathroom. But I had gone to the neurologist, the endocrinologist, the GIR practitioner in Russia, in England, in Germany, in France, United States, and there were people that knows what it is about. They had the great big books on medical science, but my asthma and my diabetes, my impotence was kicking. What happened to the books? They read books. All the physicians that treated this boy read books of all kinds. Nothing happened. I goes to Mexico, and the Mexican have a goat in his house. Every five words, it was bad. <laughs> bad. And I'm looking around. The Mexican said, the goat bothering you? I said, no, 